Hey, how's it going subscribers? Thank you all so much for clicking on this video. Today I have a very important lesson that I wish I had learned earlier in my life. But I am very glad that I know about this now because I am definitely taking advantage of this and I highly recommend you do as well. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So as many of you have heard of this quote, um, Albert Einstein used to say that compound interest is the eighth wonder of the world and I'm going to explain to you exactly what he meant by this. It is truly amazing what compound interest can do for you, especially in terms of money. Um, this has to do with dividend investing. Most people think of compound interest as uh, saving, saving money in the bank and getting an interest rate on that money, but this is with dividend investing. So um, to give you all a specific example, uh, I'm going to pick a stock. This is going to be O, Realty Income. The ticker symbol is the letter O. And this is a way that you can also invest in real estate. So a lot of the times people complain about uh, that they don't have enough money to invest in real estate and yet they want to invest in real estate as badly. So this is a great way for you to literally invest in real estate with only $73 at the moment. So And you can buy as many shares as you want. So, as you saw on the graph, it's a very good stock. It has been upward, upward trending for a long time. This company is very special because they invest in real estate and you actually get dividends every single month. And these dividends come from rent that people pay for the properties that Realty Income uh, has. And they're actually very famous for being the monthly dividend paying stock. And the frequency of the payments, which is monthly, takes advantage of compound interest significantly. You can still do this with companies that pay a dividend every single three, three months. But if you have a company that pays you monthly, it the uh, growth is much higher. So this is exactly why I picked this stock. And this is a great way for you to diversify your portfolio in real estate as well. So as always with any stock that you purchase, I always do technical analysis, which we just did. And I cannot think of a perfect graph uh, a more perfect graph than all realty income. It has been upward trending for a long time already and it ha it's very successful. And now that we proved this through technical analysis, and now we're gonna take a look at the balance sheet. This is an equal important part when choosing a stock. You must examine the most recent year of the stock performance in terms of the financials. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at the total assets that this company has to its name. And as you can see there, uh, that number that's the total assets. 
and then we're gonna take a look at the total liabilities so what you want to see is a much higher total assets number than total liabilities and you can even subtract the total liabilities from the total assets and this is a great way for you to compare stocks to each other so if you want to take a look at Facebook's performance versus Netflix performance in terms of their financials and this is a great way for you to directly compare stocks uh, with the total assets and liabilities and as you see all realty income has plenty of more assets than liabilities they have half more total assets than liabilities and this is great to see a lot of people invest in companies that have more liabilities than total assets this can be very difficult for companies because if we have a tough economic circumstances they're way more likely to fail and also before we go any further I did want to point out uh, that I did spend a lot of time in this video uh, making the Google Sheet spreadsheet that I'm about to show you where I do all the math that is involved with compound interest and dividend payments and reinvesting those dividends uh, so I did want to make sure uh, for you guys to give a like on this video for the hard work that went into this video I definitely spent a whole day doing this and also please make sure to subscribe we're almost at 100 subscribers. I'm very excited for us to reach this milestone. Um, I hope to get to 1,000 soon, uh, but this, 100 subscribers is definitely a great accomplishment that I would like to achieve. And if you all have any suggestions on content, specific content, any type of videos you prefer me doing, or any advice, I'd highly encourage that. I want to grow as a YouTuber and also as a support for investors and the investing community. All right, so we're about to begin. I'm going to show you the Google Sheets spreadsheet. I'm going to explain everything in detail so that you get a good understanding. Uh, also, if it's a little bit confusing, uh, make sure to see this video again and pause the video so that you can do the math yourself because I know this can be a bit confusing. All right, so we have old ticker symbol. The cost per share at the moment is $73 and obviously this will go up over time but it's kind of difficult to predict the price in the future so I'm just going to leave it at 73 The price uh, might change over time like I said but this plan should still work and be consistent. So with this scenario we're going to pretend that we bought 400 shares. So we own 400 shares of old realty income. This is equivalent to $992 I mean in monthly pay. So every single month you'll receive $92 in a paycheck every single month. So now the cost to buy the $400 for the 400 shares is going to be $29,200. I know $29,000 seems like a crazy number to buy in stocks. But this is just an example scenario so that you get the idea behind compound interest. But I advise people to start with whatever they can, even if it's $100, $1,000, $10,000. The point is just to get started because if you begin doing this, then you'll take advantage of compound interest with dividends. But I'll explain how this works and everything. So with this scenario, we start off with 400 shares, which means every single month you'll receive $92. But what we're, what we're going to do with those $92 is we're going to reinvest the, the $90 back into the old realty income stock, which will let us buy one share, one share more than the one we had. And like I said, the cost for buying 400 shares in the beginning is $29,200. And also with this plan, uh, in order to maximize the compound interest effect, we're going to pretend in this scenario that we're going to be putting in $1,000 every single month from your paycheck. And I know this seems crazy as well, but there, you can definitely make this possible. Uh, if you make $4,000, $5,000 per month, which is a pretty average uh, monthly paycheck for a professional, uh, you could easily invest $1,000 every single month into dividend paying stocks like all realty income so what we're gonna do is we're gonna reinvest the initial amount that we get in monthly paychecks and we're gonna add a thousand dollars from our paycheck every month into the stock 
So with $1,000, we'll be able to buy about 13 shares. So this means that we're going to be adding every single month 13 shares to our initial um, shares that we own of O Realty Income, plus the additional shares that we get from reinvesting the share the monthly pay from the original shares that we had and I'm going to be showing you all of this so don't worry if it's a little bit confusing at the moment but so like I said a thousand dollars every month from our paycheck into realty income stock which is equivalent to 13 shares being added on every single month as long as you continue putting in the one thousand dollars Alright, so beginning in the second month, now we're going to own 414 shares. This came from the 13 that we bought from the $1,000 that we invested, plus the one additional share that we were able to buy from the $92 monthly pay that we received the first month. So we were able to add uh, 14 shares from 400. So now in the second month, now instead of owning only 400 shares, now we own 414, which will uh, equivalent to a higher monthly pay that uh, you'll be able to see in a second. And we're not adding any more money into all realty income except the $1,000. So you did spend the 29,200, but after that you're only adding $1,000 every month, which like I said is very doable. You just have to be smart about your income and your expenses and you can also make money from stocks uh, through swing trading, uh, long term investing, uh, stuff like that. So uh, with 414 shares, now your new monthly pay will be around $95.20 instead of only the initial 92. And we're going to continue following this pattern but we're going to continue investing $1,000 every month, meaning 13 shares added every single month, plus the, the new number of shares that we're able to buy with the, month, with the new monthly payment. And not every single month, not every single month, we're going to be able to add a new share to it. Um, I mean, like, and a, two shares. Um, it's going to start off with only being able to add one share. Um, but as you'll see um, with the with this spreadsheet, um, there's gonna be times where you'll be actually be able to add two shares instead of one, uh, just from the monthly pay that the new monthly pay that you're receiving, and this starts to grow exponentially actually. So the one share that we've been adding every single month will soon be two shares every single month that we're adding. And this is not counting the 13 fixed shares that you're adding every single month from the $1,000. So like I said, we started with one. Uh, after we get enough of a monthly payment, we'll be able to afford two new shares being added every single month from the new monthly pay. And also keep in mind that every single share of all realty income is $73. So what I mean that you'll be able to buy two shares now instead of one share every single month is basically you grab 73 you multiply it by two so the new so the cost for buying two additional shares every single month will be 146 meaning your monthly pay must be equivalent or higher than 146 once we reach that monthly pay we'll be able to add two shares every single month aside from the 13 fixed shares that we're adding from our $1,000 monthly paycheck. And so you can basically do the math from there. Um, if you want to be adding three shares additionally every single month, uh, you'll have to reach 219 in monthly pay. And you'll be able to see this on the graph. Um, so this is what I mean by compound interest with dividend stocks. Uh, over time, your money starts to grow exponentially. The monthly pay actually starts incrementing 
in higher amounts than the previous ones. So uh, with this spreadsheet, the first uh, monthly pay was 92, the second one was 95, the third one was 98. So it's only growing by about three dollars. But as you'll see, as time passes on, you'll see the monthly pay increase by four dollars, five dollars. And then as more time passes on, uh, the increments keep on getting higher. So you'll even be able to see uh, some huge increments like seven, eight, nine dollars every single month. Uh, and the more time passes on, the higher the monthly pay increments occur. So you'll eventually skip by tens, by fifteens, by twenties. And these differences get greater as more months pass by more years and I also have the number of years passed uh, written on the side of this spreadsheet I did slow it down so that I make sure that you take a close look on the monthly pay and the number of shares owned but you'll definitely be able to see the number of years passed uh, from the beginning uh, that way you can kind of see a guideline of how much your monthly pay will be at which year and you can basically come down to a stop where you decide that I'm not gonna let this compound anymore because you want to enjoy those monthly paychecks so that you don't have to work as much anymore so that your bills get paid without you needing to work and also to just have that extra income and this is what this is all about you want to have that monthly dividend income stream coming in and you can grow it as much as you want if you want to eventually have a thousand dollars a month coming in as paychecks to you you can make this happen if you want to get to five thousand dollars a month and completely replace your household income with dividends you can make this happen uh, ten thousand uh, the sky's the limit on this uh, with and with more money that you have to invest in this dividend growing um, stocks uh, the more money you make. So this is why billionaires, uh, people, really rich people don't ever need to work anymore because simply by having all the money that they do, they can easily create income from that and, and they buy assets that create even more income from them. So they basically live off of their dividend growth and their assets, the income that their assets produce. So this is definitely the way to go. And with this strategy, the earlier you start, the better off you'll be because this the major factor that makes the biggest difference in this is not the money that you start with. So you saw that it was a $29,000 investment at the beginning. Uh, this doesn't make that much of a difference. If you start with $100,000, it does take a big effect, but it's not as significant as this other factor. So um, I'm going to tell you all the biggest factor is actually time. So if you let this compound over a hundred years, which is unrealistic, but I'm just making the point that uh, with time, you'll get the biggest increments in the monthly pay. So this is why uh, the secret to this is starting early or starting as soon as you find out about this. So I would consider yourself very lucky if it's your first time hearing about this, or if you've been hearing about this, but you haven't yet implemented it, you definitely should. It's we're at the simplest level that this can, uh, that you can make this happen. All you have to do is download the Robinhood app uh, to invest in the stock. It's completely free. You don't have to pay a commission or anything like that when you sell or buy a share. So you basically have no excuse, and it's only seventy-three dollars per share. So it's worth it to get started, even if it means you're only buying one share, five shares, ten shares. Uh, you have to give this a start because with time, uh, the biggest differences will occur and this has the potential to benefit you and your family in the long run because you won't have to spend so much time at work. Um, you have the potential to eventually live off of dividends and not have to depend on a monthly paycheck from uh, your work. This is passive income, so no matter what, this money will be coming in and you have the greatest control right now uh, because you're able to begin this and uh, sort of uh, assist the process of beginning this. I know this is turning into a lengthy video and I wanted to thank you for, for still watching this if you're still here. 
uh, please make sure to like this video and subscribe. So if you want to continue uh, seeing the results over time, I'm going to try to speed it up now so that you see the monthly payments increase over time and you'll see the dramatic difference as more time passes on. So at the beginning, it's kind of slow to grow, but that's three years, four or five years, especially in the later years, you'll see huge increments. And I stopped this at about 20 years, which was, we got to like a thousand 100 a month, which is already enough for uh, most households to comfortably uh, not have to work as much. But like I said, you can continue this as much as you can um, until you feel comfortable uh, stopping the, the compound interest and utilizing the monthly pay instead for your own expenses, for vacations, anything you would like pretty much. Uh, now you have the monthly passive income working for you. So there you go. This is how you're able to take advantage of compound interest with dividend investing. And this is exactly what Albert Einstein meant by compound interest is the eighth wonder of the world. It's crazy how this functions, but it truly works. And time is the biggest factor. So it doesn't make sense. Uh, if you don't take advantage of this right now, as soon as you can, please try to do this. It'll help you in the long run tremendously. Uh, your family will thank you for it. Um, your, your time is the most important, uh, valuable asset to you and others. So make sure to save this as much as you can. You don't want to end up working for many, many years and not enjoy your life. So this is exactly why I do this and why I'm showing you all uh, and so that you can take advantage of this as well. Um, I want you all to live a better financial future, just how I am working on mine. So thank you all so much for watching. Like I said, we're almost at 100 subscribers. I'm very excited for us to reach this. Please make sure to like this video and subscribe if you have not already. Please recommend this video to a friend that is interested in investing in stocks and show them exactly how they're able to have eventually a thousand dollars a month just in 20 years so if you start this at 20 years old you're only going to be 40 years old when you get to enjoy a thousand dollars a month who can say that they receive a thousand dollars a month without having to work and this is just with putting a thousand dollars every month into your into your um, dividend investing you can put a lot more if your income's higher so this is all customizable and you don't have to start with a huge amount uh, you can start off with five, ten shares. The most important thing is to begin. So, yeah, there you go. Uh, please comment down below what you guys thought of this video. If you have any suggestions, any questions, anything like that, I would highly appreciate it. Please like this video. It highly helps me and it helps the YouTube algorithm. It helps people uh, see this video more. Uh, so, thank you all so much. Uh, have a great day.